All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of DJ's Garage. Uh, as you can see, everything's JB welded on this crankcase. So what we're gonna do? Uh, I've also already popped these bearing bearings in off camera. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the uh, keeper in, so this bearing won't come back out. And we're gonna put the transmission side of this engine back together <clears throat> all right so we'll just set this one off to the side for now and we'll work on this one and what we're going to do is pretty much just put all the, the gears and the shift forks together and uh, put the crank in it, make sure everything jives, and then uh, uh, put the two halves together. So this is part of your transmission, obviously. It's the gearing. This is another piece. Everything will fit together. And... Uh, then let's see if oh, here it is. this right here this is your actual shifter like this is what your shift forks fit into and they'll lift certain parts up and down to uh, change gears see like like for example this one spinning right now without the shaft spinning but if you pick that up once it locks in it wants to spin that shaft now this one down here spins without the shaft moving drop that down and now that one wants to spin and so on and so forth so that's how the uh, okay here here's a better example we'll just take it off there alright so you see how this has got these three little teeth in it and this has three little pieces that come out well they lock in there which locks this now this one is splined uh on the inside which oh dang it <clears throat> everything's greasy which fits the splines on this shaft so this is going to be locked into this shaft at all times this however will spin freely because it is not splined that needs to go back on there Alright, so same thing with these two gears. They're not splined, so they'll spin freely. And this one's got four of those little cutouts in it, and then the other side has four little uh, cutouts in it as well to lock into these gears. Oh, where'd you go? There we go. So it, it pretty much locks these gears. And then when it's picked up, it locks this gear. Well, it'll lock this gear, but release these gears. So that's, that's basically how your transmission works in a bike. So we'll go ahead and put that one in there. Um, now on to this one. Oh good, the washer's already on it. So, oh, we need this gear in there. Can you guys, can you guys see what I'm doing? Let's see if we can do this while it's standing up. Uh, might be a little bit more difficult, but we can make it work. All right, so this we need to finagle into here better yet let's uh walk it by let's try to fit all of this together at the same time nope not doing it that way 
is even worse than the other one. So, let's take that out of the way. Spin this around. very difficult with it standing up with it sitting down like this you can use gravity to your advantage so that's what I'm going to do everything we'll just have to test it um, these are your shift forks right here so that's a shift fork and they're labeled left and right I think L and R if somebody else knows what that means let me know I'm just assuming that it's left and right so like I was saying earlier those the shift forks will fit in to a little groove can you guys can you guys see well and they lift up and down hmm let me go ahead and put uh, where you at where you at this is not the right one uh -huh, there it is okay so let's go ahead and put this in there. So basically these just ride up and down like that whenever you shift gears and lock different sections in. Oops. So we'll go ahead and put this one in come on now go ahead and put that one in and make sure you look at the orientation of your shifter drum I'm just gonna call it a shifting drum I don't know the actual terminology of this particular piece so you want to push your shift fork out of the way and then move your gears around until you get it locked in there like so. Alright, so let's go ahead and put that one in there. There we go. Alright, so now whenever we turn this, it will move that up and down. Oh, I need a third hand. Mm. Hold the camera right here, Mason. Right there? Yeah. Alright, so basically, it just kind of moves everything around. So, I'm going to lock it in this way. So 
so now you know how that goes together how it all jives with itself and... all right so let me set you back up on the tripod <clears throat> now we're gonna do these ones next um, now like I say I'm unsure of the orientation of these right now so we're gonna learn together I got this bike already taken apart like the previous owner had already pulled it all apart before I got to it so it's just gonna be a little bit of a guessing game for now but the general knowledge of how these all go together is the same so we just got to make sure we've got the orientation of the forks right because if one is off then they're not going to shift correctly all right so that's first that's that. That's second. Third. Fourth. Wait a second. Start up. All right, so. It's neutral. You see, First. this is not how you eat it. That's where you get spit on it. This is not how you eat it. That's where you get spit on it. Alright, so all of that jives good as well. So <coughs> now what do we need? We can go ahead and put our crank in there because put it one time and then eat it and then give it back. So we got the crank in. Um, pretty well the entire transmission is together. That's the transmission. Um, really, to be honest with you, I'm, I think we're ready to uh, go ahead and put these two halves together. So. Uh, oh, wait. Oop almost forgot the oil filters they go there like that and then they run into those two ports there and cycle up through into here so and then uh, let's see if we can find Here's the oil pump. It sits. Uh, you stay there. It sits. Where's the rest of it? Uh, here we go. So 
so it'll sit right here it'll sit right there um, if I put it on there correctly so yeah it'll sit on there like that and that'll spin and pretty much pump the oil through the the top end of the engine <clears throat> it's pretty nifty I think but anyway so that's all together and uh, doesn't look like I'm missing anything so these two halves will just slide right together locating dowels we can't forget those those are important uh, do we have any in there at all answer to that question is no we do not so <coughs> when you're rebuilding an engine they come with locating dowels that uh, pretty much line the case up as you're putting it together um, see if we have another one sitting up here does not look like <clears throat> so we have this one right here. Need another one there. <coughs> I thought I had two sitting up here. I was wrong. Alright, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and join these two halves. Now I want to double check again. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. We've got the uh, pretty much the transmission of the bike put together. Um, as you can see in there, all of it works. Um, <clears throat> uh, once we get the other side put together, or well, not the other side, but once we get this side all put together this is where your clutch goes and your shifter um, we'll get this end put together first get everything in here get it closed in and then we'll shift through the gears and make sure that we have them make sure that all the gears are correct so to be continued we've got the bottom end together our JB welded crankcase here and here and we'll see how long it lasts all right thanks for watching please like and subscribe